I'm going to give you guys a quick crash course from one no coder to another on what APIs are, how to use them, when to use them, what they even do. All right, the first question, what is an API? So an API acts as a messenger, something that allows one app to request data from another app and accomplish a task. Think of it as like two apps or software is talking to one another and one app says, hey, can I get this info? And the API goes out, gets that info from the other app and brings it back to you. So in simple terms, an API is just how softwares or apps talk to one another. Let me show you this real world scenario on what an API call is. That way you might be able to understand it a little bit better. So here we have you or the workflow, the menu or the data. You have the waiter or the API call, the kitchen or the cook or the software or app you need. So let's break this down. So you yourself sits down at a restaurant table. That's the same thing as your workflow being triggered. You then get handed some data. Like whenever your workflow is triggered, you get the data that triggered the workflow. You read through the menu and you decide what kind of food you want. Well, you can't just go back into the kitchen and tell the cook your order how to make it. So that's where an API call comes in or a waiter. The waiter then knows that you want to make a request with certain data, but it knows that it needs to bring that data to the software and then wait for that software to finish up doing what it needs with the data and then bring it back to you for the job to be done. So what happens here is whenever the data reaches your API call node, the waiter then takes your order, which is how you want your food prepared and what kind of food you want, or the data that you're trying to send to the other app, brings it to the software and says, hey, I need you to make a medium rare steak with a side of loaded baked potato, no sour cream. That API then waits for the cook to tell it when it's done or a get request. So whenever the food is done or that software is finished doing what you want it to do with your data, the API then brings the data back to you. So now you can continue on with your workflow and do whatever you would like to do with that data. What does an API call look like inside of NAN? Well, honestly, anytime we make a request to an external software, like a Gmail, or we try to update a record in our Airtable, we're making API calls. So what does it look like whenever there isn't one of these nodes and we need to make what's called a custom HTTP request or custom API call? So here I have a workflow called my content weekly analysis. All this workflow does is basically every single week, Sunday at 2100 or 9 p.m., it scrapes all of my socials, compares the stats from last week's to see how many followers I've gotten, new school community members, subscribers, likes, views, and everything to do with content. But if you go over here on the right and you type in TikTok, NADN doesn't have a native integration with TikTok, but TikTok is a big part of my content creation. So if I press the plus again, type in HTTP, I'm then going to grab this HTTP request node. The reason I needed to use this node is so I could make that custom API call between my workflow and TikTok. So in this custom HTTP node or custom API call, I'm sending over what's called a body request to a software called Appify that then uses this Appify actor to scrape my TikTok profile. So think of this as like the waiter in the restaurant. I need my TikTok statistics for the week. I tell the waiter, it goes out and gets that data from Appify. Once Appify is done, it returns it back to this node and then allows me to continue doing what I need to do with that data. I hope you guys have a better understanding of what APIs are and how to use them. If you want to learn more about this stuff, I just launched my free school community called the AI Growth Lab, a community where no coders can learn from another no coder how to build systems like this, make your business better with AI systems, or just learn.